It's that time of the year. Insta360 Go 3 is here. With Insta360 Go 3, we're gonna go under the sea and by the beach and drive around in a car plus a bicycle ride and go inside a tent and put it on the magnetic pendant. It's gonna be the most comprehensive review on Insta360 Go 3. Hey guys, so Insta360 Go 3 is now here and this time yes it looks similar as the predecessor go 2 however it now has this action pod so today i want to take you guys through the new features of insta360 go 3 and give you guys 10 tips on maximize using insta360 go 3. the first cool feature and a tip is that with the new action pod you can now flip the screen so right now my setup is go three into the action pod attach the action pod into the pivot stand which is included in the box attach the pivot stand onto mini two-in-one tripod which is also from insta360 and you can extend it and make it into a perfect selfie stick and all i need to do is yes flip the screen it's the summertime so bring the tent out and go outdoor and i am inside my insta360 go 3 <laughs> and because of the flip screen i can totally see myself the frame that i'm having and i can make sure that the light is touching my skin showing it beautifully and yes it's so so useful and right now i'm having it on ultra wide angle mode so it is super duper wide and i only have it sort of at arm's length and see how much it can capture over the environment and also i have the stabilization on level one just to give you comparison this is stabilization off of course it's best to be used when you're actually just having it on a tripod not moving but just to give you a comparison this is me walking with zero stabilization and now this is with level one stabilization me just walking definitely suitable when you're walking or doing gentle gentle movement and right now it's with level two stabilization slightly like 0.2 second lag with the display but this is me walking with level two level two is actually more suitable for running so i'm gonna start running and this is with level three stabilization so of course i don't need to walk i need to run but this is actually more suitable for crazy extreme activities such as mountain biking and stuff and the stabilization can be very easily changed with swiping the display and clicking on the display it's really useful having the wide display to the world's smallest action camera so far I've been having Insta360 Go 3 action pod on the pivot stand which is included in the whole package so don't worry a lot of accessories are included in this box so the pivot stand the cool thing is you can actually just take it off and it's really strong magnetic but you can take it off and then take the Insta360 Go 3 main camera body out and then place it in the pivot stand and with the pivot stand you can sort of go into whatever angle because there are all these like slots and here is the second tip because this action pod now free of go 3 camera it can work as a remote control there are many cases where having action pod as a remote control is really helpful because in cases like this this is just one scenario for you so because insta360 go is magnetic and this is a magnetic lamp post so i can actually just stick it like there it just stopped there <laughs> as long as you're sort of in an urban area there are many things where you can just stick your camera somewhere and because it's up there i don't know what it's viewing now i can see what the camera is seeing on this display so just change the end a little bit perfect so in this kind of case what i can do is actually take a really nice panoramic view of the sea with me in the middle so i'm just changing the menu into photo mode yeah 
And another scenario where I can see the remote control is really handy, although I think the sky's the limit, is that this camera, Insta360 GO 3, the main camera, is 5 meter waterproof and this action pod is just water resistant. So you can actually put this camera in the rain, but you can control GO 3 camera with the remote control in a comfortable dry area because GO 3 is waterproof. Next tip is to take it underwater because this little device is 5 meter waterproof but not the action pod and definitely not the accessories so you do probably need a dedicated accessory for taking it to diving and so on however for this little just snorkeling I'm not gonna go deep because right now this wide open ocean there's absolutely nobody swimming here today not this morning but the water is clear so hopefully I can get something it's not tropical water clear but it's not that bad once I sort of go slightly further away into the sea so let's go make sure I take the bike off One mode that you should definitely check out is free frame mode. After taking the video in free frame mode, it allows you to change the video aspect ratio without cropping the content in the frame. So here you're seeing the view of the Insta360 Studio on my PC. I'm able to change from 16 by 9, 9 by 16, 4 by 5, and even 1 by 1, all without changing the quality of the video. While I have Insta360 GO 3 on the pendant, which is also included in the box. And even included in the box is this pendant where you can actually change the angle. So this is like an extra sort of silicone, but inside there is magnet. So if you want the angle that goes slightly sort of downwards or upwards, depending on which angle you prefer, then you can just put it at the back of the pendant to adjust the angle. So right now I'm completely hands-free. <laughs> But there is another feature in Insta360 GO 3 that's hands-free, which is voice control. So now voice control updated to version 2.0. So I can say, start recording. Yes, did you hear it? I'm not sure whether you heard it, but stop recording. Yep, I think you saw the light changing color. And I can say, take a photo. Take a photo. Take a photo. <laughs> Shut down camera. Turned off. <laughs> so now I have been using Insta 360 GO 3 for a while and it's been off the action pod for a while. So what I'm gonna do is pop it back into the action pod. The reason being is action pod can also be an extra charger for Insta360 GO 3. So Insta360 GO 3 has 310 mAh and action pod has another extra 1270 mAh. So once you pop GO 3 back into action pod, then it can charge more than two extra rounds. So you have no problem in taking your action shot throughout the whole day. And another thing to note is that the operating temperature is minus 20 degrees Celsius all the way to 40 degrees Celsius. And in Fahrenheit, it's minus 4 degrees all the way to 1 or 4 degrees. So you can definitely take Insta360 GO 3, not just in the summertime, but in the wintertime as well. So another accessory that's included in the box 
part of the pivot stand is the actual stand in itself. So this is like a little disc. It can go at the bottom. What's wonderful about this is that you can peel it and this can go into many different surfaces. Just to note, the sticky pad, once it's rinsed, it can be reused and the sticky pad should only be applied from zero degrees to 40 degrees. So what I'm gonna do is actually attach in the car, in the glass. So right now I'm inside a car, so I hope you guys can hear me totally fine with Insta360 GO 3. So I'm actually just gonna use the mic internal to Insta360 GO 3. So actually this car driving, I'm actually taking it at the end of like the whole day of shooting with Insta360 GO 3. So I realized that Insta360 Action Pod, because it's keep on charging my GO 3. So GO 3 right now is almost fully charged but action pod is now drained out of battery so i'm charging that up with my external battery so now i'm gonna drive and i love it because i can see myself crystal clear and from the display what i can see actually the color looks really good even indoor and now it's getting a little bit cloudy outdoor as well and the pivot stand it can definitely hold the weight of action pod as well as the camera so if any of you guys actually prefer sort of speaking into the camera while you're driving then this camera can be considered just look at the color this is the all the original footage not edited so you can see for yourselves whether this is the camera that you want something mini something ultra wide so you can actually get a very nice angle inside the car What's really useful about the car and also the sticky pad of the pivot stand is that you can actually use it sort of as a dash cam because Insta360 GO 3 allows for loop video recording. For me, what I want to do, and actually I haven't cleaned the glass properly of my car, is to show you the beautiful view. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and do a time shift. Time shift in Insta360 GO 3 is great because GO 3 automatically adjusts the speed of the time shift, but the file size is large. So if you want the camera to stand still, then you might want to make use of time lapse. Now I want to introduce you to guys to the Easy Clip, which is included inside a box. So all I need to do is take GO 3 and then put it in the easy clip and because inside is magnetic so you can hear the click and the angle can be turned to many different direction i'm just going to double click because that's the time shift that i've actually customized onto the button very easy to do in the action pod I've had really fun time playing with Insta360 GO 3 outdoor, under the sunshine and also in the sea, in the car, on the bike, everywhere, you name it. Because it's so tiny, it's magnetic and it's ultra wide angle, it can capture me in any kind of situation. And also with the brand new action pod, it's definitely worth considering an upgrade for easier convenience. And I think 2.7K resolution on Insta360 GO 3 is definitely your social media worthy. So I'll definitely come back with other adventures with Insta360 GO 3. So please don't forget to subscribe, like the video and see you.